Today we're going to be building Lego Architecture Set 21061, the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, France. Uh, this set comes with 4,383 pieces and was released on June 1st. Uh, this is a tribute, obviously, to the cathedral uh, with that terrible fire that happened a few years ago, I believe, back in 2019. Um, and I'm excited to build this. This looks like a really cool set, so let's get started.
So we finally finished Lego set number 21061, the Lego Architecture Notre Dame of Paris. Uh, this set comes with 4,383 pieces and retails in the U.S. for $229. Uh, this is a really great set. I think it's another awesome set to the Lego architecture line, and I think that it really pays tribute to the cathedral itself, which um, fire that uh, unfortunately uh, caused much of this cathedral to burn down in 2019. Uh, there's a really lot of detail here, and I love that you know this is an architecture set that has put in uh, well over 4,000 pieces, and certainly at the price point of $229, this is an excellent up. So if you're a fan of Lego architecture, I'm really, I highly recommend picking this one up. So just coming around quickly to the front here, there's a little uh, Notre Dame de Paris label here. Uh, this is the front of the, <coughs> the front of the uh, cathedral here. You see there's two, three little doors and it moves up here. Some of the detail around the windows and then the central uh, plaque here. And then there's these little tiny, uh, these are actually very individual sort of, I'm not sure what you call these, but then there's a lot of detail up here at the top of the cathedral uh, with the, uh, there's a little couple of slow pieces, a bunch of slow pieces that, that fit into these and they kind of circle all the way around the sides in here as well. This set took me quite a while to build, although I was away for uh, the last uh, few days in the last couple of weeks, but um there's a lot of small little detailed pieces, and I think it's a really great set. Uh, it might take you a little while to, to kind of get through it. Uh, again, some more, a lot of detail here. There's, uh, you know, the, the detail around the side with the windows. And, you know, the, the, going around the back here, there's also a lot of detail, again, going all the way around with the windows. And then the, uh, the, the back here with the pointed tips around the edges. There's also some foliage on the... Uh, the side here, two big trees, and then a couple small ones, and then some bushes here. Uh, I guess the only thing I would say about this is I think that these are the right size for a landscape in this in this set. I think that if they were any bigger, it would really take away from the the size of the of the cathedral in this in this model. And and I think that they've kind of hit this one on the, uh, on the nail as far as the size of these landscapes. Uh, there's also two really detailed doors coming around here to the front. Uh, I think, again, this whole set is really, really well done. So the top of the cathedral does actually come off. You can pull off the top, and you can see uh, inside the, the cathedral here. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see there's the inside the floor, um, the marble floor with the, the black and white tiles. That was really, uh, really fun to build in there as well. And then coming around to the, the top with the tower here, uh, these little uh, statue pieces make it really make a good uh, lot of detail here. And then again at the top. One of the things that I really enjoyed actually about building this is, is they designed it in such a way that you actually build it in stages. There are three stages to this build. Um, you know, the original set, the original um cathedral as, as it was when it first came together in the uh, 1100s and then you kind of expand on that and that takes you through different phases of the build and, and it, it's interesting to kind of go through time like that. So just quickly going through the instructional manual here there's a really good picture on the front of the cathedral itself and there is a little page here at the very beginning of the cathedral talks a little bit about the cathedral here and then this is the very first iteration they talk about so the very first part of the build is from 1163 to 1182 and they talk about the east side of the cathedral that was completed in that time frame and then it takes 10 bags and and then you get to the second part of the build which is 1182 to 1200 and then it talks a little bit also about the expansion of the of the cathedral during that period as it was built and then the third section, you also build uh, 11, uh, sorry, 1225 to 1786, which is the completion of the entire set. Uh, and again, it talks about, you know, the finishing the entire, uh, the entire cathedral. Uh, throughout the instructions, there are uh, also a lot of kind of little, as we see with other builds uh, in the upper right hand corner, there are little sort of references to parts of the build and, and how they relate to the build itself in the in the real cathedral. Uh, there are 34 bags to this build. 
Uh, so again, like I said, it will take some time, but it's, there's a lot of small pieces and it's very detailed. Uh, and I really enjoyed putting it together. Again, there's, here's, uh, <clears throat> Sorry, the last page of the book here that talks about the fire and rebuilding the, the cathedral to you know how it originally was, which is a, a really again a really good tribute to the to the uh, to the cathedral and you know pays homage to its uh, reconstruction. Uh, there were many. I mean, with four thousand over four thousand pieces, there were quite a few pieces left over. I think uh, honestly, I may have. Uh, missed a piece here or there with such a big build, but I did kind of rush through it at the end to, to get it finished. So just to wrap up again, you know, for over 4,000 pieces, I think this is the biggest Lego architecture set that I've built for $229. It's an excellent buy. It's very detailed and I really enjoyed thoroughly building this, especially the construction with the sections and all the little detail. I think that was really made it a lot of fun. It does take a little time. I think again, 4,000 pieces, a lot of it's very small. Uh, but I would highly recommend if you're a fan of Lego architecture, um, this, this set of, uh, or if you've ever visited in person, certainly this, this set will, uh, display really well and, and goes a long way with a lot of the other Lego architecture collectors, uh, sets. I wish that Lego would actually make more Lego architecture sets. I know they did quite a few in the past, but I think they're coming out now on a steady, you know, one set a year release. And I, I just wish that they made more. I really enjoy building these. So if you enjoyed this video, again, I would appreciate you clicking on like and subscribe. And I appreciate your support. And thanks again for watching.